Hello and welcome to the Excel in Business series. My name is Ken Atigari and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the HLOOKUP function. Now let's start. You've heard about VLOOKUPs. Um, VLOOKUPs actually look at values vertically. While HLOOKUPs, what they actually do is look at values horizontally. So while, H, uh, while VLOOKUP might look at values like trying to map this, you know, like this, HLOOKUP on the other hand does this, looks this way. Right, so let's try this example now. We've got a data set here for some products and I've got uh, the, the sales by date. For H phone, uh, H lookup, what you do is equal to H lookup. Oops, H lookup. Lookup value, that's 2000. Freeze, that's F4. Table array, you're taking a look at this table array, freeze, F4, row index number, this is the first one bench, so, uh, sorry, it's the second row, this is the first row, this is the second row, so go 2, then true versus appro uh, approximate, that's sorry, approximate versus exact match, whereas true, you can write it, you can put 1, as a value that uh, shows true. You can also write 0 as a value that shows false. I'm going to write 0. There we go. I then drag this down. Um, you can see that it's all the same value so I need to change this to the third row to correspond to the third row here. Change the other one to the fourth row to correspond to the fourth row. Change the other one to the fifth row. There we go. So for 2007, you got 246, 315, 422, and 407. Right. Uh, you notice that over here, I had to do a lot of editing, changing to 345. Now imagine we had a thousand, a thousand uh, records. I mean, that is going to be quite stressful. So, I'm going to show you another way of going about it using the row, Excel row function. It goes like this equal HLOOKUP, lookup value, freeze, um, right, table array, go over here again, freeze, that's F4. Row index number, in this case it's one, sorry, two. All we're going to do is to use equal, sorry, equal to that's row bracket open row reference. The reference is this one. This means second row. All right, then the range lookup we use exact match that's false, which is zero. Right, so when we drag this down by double clicking, you can see 2006, you can see it corresponds. Now what the row um, function does is that it converts this to the numerical value of the, uh, the, the, the numerical value of the row. So this is second, so that's two, three, four. So as you drag down, this also drags down. So let's quickly do a formula audit, audit that's alt t u f to see what's happening here. Evaluate. Notice this is 2. Close. Let's try this one. Alt t u f. So evaluate. Watch this. See, that's 5. Excellent. I guess you, you've basically understood what HLOOKUP is, how it's used. Uh, thank you for joining me in this video. See you later. Bye-bye.